This is President Irfan Ali's first official visit to the United Kingdom since becoming president. On Wednesday, he's expected to meet with the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, and on Thursday, he will meet with Prince Charles. But on his arrival today, he first met with investors. His message to them was very clear. Guyana is open for investment in a wide array of sectors, and he's encouraging them to put their money into Guyana very fast. We are working with the best in the business, developers from Singapore, on the urban plan of this new city. And we are hoping very shortly that we can launch this, launch this out. And maybe this is an area in which we can look at some of the financing from the UK. So in this investment forum, it is not only about understanding what the opportunities are. It is understanding how we can get to those opportunities. Understanding what available resources are there to support us in going after some of these opportunities. And I find sometimes that is a missing link. So if I would have a humble suggestion for the organizers of this session, maybe it would be good to have the UK agency, financing agencies from the government, spend an hour with potential investors in the country, outlining, and I'm sure maybe High Commissioner, in your, your session you can do some of this too, outlining some of this opportunity and what is required of you to be part of or make use of this opportunity that is available. One of the areas President Ali is very keen on is the agricultural sector. He has outlined new areas for investment, hoping to tap UK and European investors. Suddenly, by the leadership, the political will of the region to address this issue has generated tremendous response. We have some of the largest distribution companies now ready to bring in the capital to replant coffee, cocoa, to ensure that we become self-sufficient in corn and soya as import costs for feed production for poultry and livestock. And that is where the country is going. In just 20 months, we have embarked on a program of crop diversification and in two years we will produce all the corn and soya we need in Guyana for the feed production for our poultry and livestock sector. This is the type of transformation I'm talking about. This is where the revenues from oil and gas will go to build other sectors, ensuring other sectors are competitive ensuring that those sectors are resilient. So with 30% of the world wheat taken out of the market, you can imagine the consequence on a country that loves to eat roti and bread. <laughs> Prices for the ordinary people has escalated. So what are we doing about that? We have just launched a research on finding a wheat variety that can be grown in Guyana to satisfy our local demand to start with. So that the next generation of Guyanese must not be in a position that we are in today. Now another key meeting the president attended today was with airline executives of some of the biggest companies including Virgin Atlantic and British Airways. At that meeting was Minister of Tourism, Industry and Commerce Onish Walron. She spoke with us earlier today. Some of the biggest takeaway, Neil, was the, um, the prospect of increasing our airlift to Guyana, um, especially the European, um, getting more access to the European market, direct access and so we are um we had we have had encouraging talks the british airways was represented 
at the was at the meeting as well as Virgin Atlantic and so they are all interested in seeing how we can increase the airlift to Guyana um, while also promoting the Guyana's um, tourism products so using the two um, the, the tourism um, as a as to catapult more um, airlift into Guyana so the, and inter-caribbean was also represented uh, there the as well so that was a big takeaway. Also, we have a major investment firm out of Turks and Caicos who that want to, that are interested in, in hotel development, and they are also interested in the ecotourism resort development. So I'm very excited to, to um, continue those talks until, because um, that is also a very promising thing. We have, as, as a government, we have um, the president, has outlined what our priority um, investment areas are. Uh, we've made it clear that um, tourism is a strategic, um, uh, strategic sector to for our economy to remain sustainable. So I think that that was a good message for everyone to hear. And so I think people, there is no, no more confidence. You can see at the table that people have had more, have more confidence, have been hearing from the president that this is a priority sector that in, um, incentives and otherwise would be provided. Um, so the um, idea also of the more representation in the European market for other people who are not related to in terms of diaspora um, to be able to get interest on its own. Um, people who are totally um, unconnected with Guyana to be able to, to now um, market Guyana to those, those persons was something that also we're going to be um, exploring more. The travel agents have, um, they've seen the, um, the interest, they've seen the desire because of our, uh, the fact that we are on so many, we've won so many awards for ecotourism. And so what they have highlighted, what the challenges are, the challenges that the increased cost of um, seats for air airfare, um, and so that has been prohibitive, and also the fact that there is lack of airlift. So we have been uh, definitely the discussion is to get more um, airlift into into Guyana to lower that cost. But the interest is is definitely there um, for our, our tourism product indeed. Yeah. Now the president ended off his first official day of business here in London with a dinner hosted for some of the biggest Guyanese names in business and politics. They included Baroness Valerie Amos and Sir Clive Lloyd. As we mentioned at the outset, the president on Wednesday will meet with the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson and then on Thursday he will meet with Prince Charles. Reporting for the newsroom, I'm Neil Marks in London.